Ghost hunting in the digital age is a fascinating evolution of an age-old human endeavor. The pursuit of the paranormal has captivated humanity for centuries, from ancient legends to modern ghost stories. The desire to connect with the unseen world has persisted, and today, it has embraced technology to aid in the search for evidence of the supernatural. Among the various tools employed by paranormal investigators, EMF meters, short for electromagnetic field meters, stand out as a staple in the ghost hunter's arsenal. These devices detect fluctuations in electromagnetic fields which, while naturally occurring and produced by various electronic devices, some paranormal investigators believe that spirits or other paranormal entities can also generate or influence. This belief stems from the idea that ghosts may possess some form of energy that can interact with the physical world. The use of EMF meters in ghost hunting is predicated on the assumption that sudden or unexplained spikes in electromagnetic readings could indicate the presence of a paranormal entity. However, it is crucial to approach such interpretations with a healthy dose of skepticism. Electromagnetic fields are ubiquitous in our environment, emanating from power lines, appliances, and even the wiring within the walls of our homes. Therefore, attributing an EMF fluctuation solely to paranormal activity requires careful consideration of all potential sources of electromagnetic interference. While EMF meters may serve as intriguing tools for exploration, they should not be misconstrued as definitive detectors of ghostly apparitions. The quest for evidence of the paranormal demands a critical and discerning approach, one that acknowledges the limitations of technology while remaining open to the possibilities that lie beyond our current understanding. Electromagnetic fields are a fundamental force of nature, encompassing both electric and magnetic fields that interact with each other. These fields are created by the movement of electrically charged objects. The strength of an electromagnetic field is measured in units called Gauss or milligauss. EMF meters are designed to detect and quantify these electromagnetic fields, providing readings that can be used for various purposes. In scientific contexts, EMF meters are employed to measure electromagnetic radiation levels in the environment, assess the safety of electrical equipment, and conduct research in fields such as physics and engineering. However, in the realm of paranormal investigation, EMF meters take on a more speculative role. Ghost hunters posit that spirits or other paranormal entities may emit or manipulate electromagnetic fields as a manifestation of their presence. The theory behind this assumption is that if ghosts possess some form of energy, it could potentially interact with the electromagnetic spectrum, causing detectable fluctuations. While this notion remains largely unproven, it has fueled the use of EMF meters as a primary tool for detecting potential paranormal activity. Ghost hunters often interpret sudden spikes or unusual patterns in EMF readings as signs of a ghostly presence, particularly when these fluctuations occur in locations known for alleged paranormal phenomena. However, it is essential to remember that electromagnetic fields are pervasive in our surroundings, originating from both natural and artificial sources. Electrical appliances, power lines, and even the Earth's magnetic field contribute to the ambient electromagnetic environment. Therefore, discerning between normal fluctuations and those potentially attributed to paranormal activity requires meticulous observation and a critical assessment of all potential sources of interference. EMF meters have become indispensable tools for paranormal investigators, providing a tangible means of measuring and interpreting electromagnetic fluctuations that may be associated with unexplained phenomena. These devices, ranging from basic to advanced models, offer a glimpse into the invisible world of electromagnetic fields, which some believe may hold clues to the existence of ghosts and other paranormal entities. The allure of EMF meters lies in their ability to quantify something intangible and often perceived as mysterious. By converting electromagnetic energy into numerical readings, these devices provide a sense of objectivity to the subjective experience of ghost hunting. The display of an EMF meter with its fluctuating numbers and flashing lights can heighten the suspense and excitement of an investigation, creating a palpable sense of anticipation for potential paranormal encounters. However, it is crucial to approach the use of EMF meters with a balanced perspective, acknowledging both their potential benefits and their limitations. While these devices can detect fluctuations in electromagnetic fields, they cannot definitively prove or disprove the existence of ghosts. The interpretation of EMF readings requires careful consideration of all potential sources of interference, 
including natural phenomena and man-made electromagnetic emissions. Moreover, EMF meters should not be viewed as the sole determinant of paranormal activity. A comprehensive paranormal investigation involves a multifaceted approach, incorporating historical research, eyewitness accounts, and other investigative techniques to corroborate or refute potential paranormal claims. EMF meters, while valuable tools, should be regarded as one piece of a larger puzzle, contributing to a more informed and nuanced understanding of the phenomena under investigation. EMF meters come in a variety of forms, each with its own set of features and capabilities. Basic models, often referred to as K2 meters, are widely used in paranormal investigation due to their affordability and ease of use. These meters typically feature a simple LED display that illuminates in response to changes in electromagnetic field strength. The LEDs often correspond to different ranges of EMF intensity, allowing for a visual representation of fluctuations. More advanced EMF meters offer greater sensitivity and precision, providing numerical readings on a digital display. These meters may also include features such as data logging, which allows investigators to record EMF readings over time, and multiple axes of detection, enabling the measurement of electromagnetic fields in different directions. Some high-end EMF meters even incorporate audio output, converting EMF fluctuations into audible signals that can be analyzed for patterns or anomalies. The choice of EMF meter depends on the specific needs and budget of the paranormal investigator. Basic models are suitable for casual ghost hunting or preliminary investigations, while more advanced meters are preferred for in-depth research or investigations requiring greater accuracy and data analysis. Regardless of the type of EMF meter used, it is essential to understand its capabilities and limitations to ensure proper interpretation of readings. Furthermore, it is important to calibrate EMF meters regularly to maintain their accuracy. Calibration involves exposing the meter to a known electromagnetic field source and adjusting its settings to ensure accurate readings. This process helps to mitigate errors caused by environmental factors or internal variations within the device. By adhering to proper calibration procedures, paranormal investigators can enhance the reliability of their EMF readings and improve the overall quality of their investigations. Section 5. Practical Tips – Using EMF Meters in the Field Using EMF meters effectively in the field requires a combination of technical knowledge and practical experience. Before embarking on an investigation, it is crucial to familiarize yourself with the specific features and operation of your EMF meter. Read the user manual thoroughly, understand the different measurement scales and units, and practice taking readings in various environments to get a sense of baseline EMF levels. When conducting an investigation, start by taking baseline readings in the area of interest. This establishes a reference point for comparing subsequent readings and helps to identify any pre-existing electromagnetic fields that may not be related to paranormal activity. Move the EMF meter slowly and steadily, paying attention to any sudden spikes or unusual patterns in the readings. If you encounter a significant EMF fluctuation, attempt to isolate the source by moving the meter closer to and further away from the suspected area. Note the location, time, and any other relevant observations, such as changes in temperature or unusual sounds. Document your findings thoroughly, including photographs or video recordings of the EMF meter readings and the surrounding environment. Remember that EMF meters are sensitive instruments that can be influenced by external factors. Avoid using them near electronic devices, power lines, or metal objects, as these can generate strong electromagnetic fields that may interfere with your readings. If possible, conduct your investigation during periods of low electromagnetic activity, such as late at night or early in the morning. Section 6. Beyond EMF Other Gadgets in a Ghost Hunter's Arsenal While EMF meters hold a prominent place in the Ghost Hunter's toolkit, they are by no means the only technological aids employed in paranormal investigation. A diverse array of gadgets and devices have emerged, each designed to capture or analyze different aspects of the alleged paranormal realm. From recording ghostly voices to detecting temperature anomalies, these tools provide additional avenues for exploring unexplained phenomena. One such device is the EVP recorder, short for Electronic Voice Phenomenon Recorder. These recorders are used to capture audio recordings of sounds or voices that are not audible to the human ear at the time of recording. Paranormal investigators believe that spirits may communicate through EVPs, 
leaving behind subtle whispers or messages that can be revealed upon playback of the recordings. Another tool frequently used in ghost hunting is the thermal imaging camera. These cameras detect infrared radiation, which is emitted by all objects based on their temperature. In the context of paranormal investigation, thermal imaging cameras are used to identify cold spots or temperature variations that may indicate the presence of a ghostly entity or other paranormal activity. The theory behind this is that spirits may absorb heat energy from their surroundings, causing a noticeable drop in temperature. These are just a few examples of the many gadgets that have found their way into the world of paranormal investigation. As technology continues to advance, new tools and techniques are constantly being developed, expanding the possibilities for exploring the unknown. However, it is essential to remember that technology alone cannot provide definitive proof of the paranormal. The interpretation of data collected from these devices requires careful consideration of all potential explanations, both natural and supernatural. Section 7, EVP Recorders, Capturing the Whispers of the Unknown. EVP recorders have become a staple in the realm of paranormal investigation, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the possibility of capturing voices from beyond the grave. These devices, ranging from simple audio recorders to specialized EVP recorders with enhanced sensitivity, aim to capture subtle sounds and voices that may not be audible to the human ear in real time. The allure of EVP recording lies in its potential to provide direct communication with spirits, offering a unique and personal connection to the unseen world. The process of EVP recording typically involves setting up the recorder in a quiet location, often in a room or area where paranormal activity has been reported. Investigators may ask questions or make statements, hoping to elicit a response from any spirits that may be present. The recordings are then carefully reviewed, listening for any anomalies, whispers, or voices that stand out from the background noise. Interpreting EVP recordings requires a discerning ear and a critical approach. Many sounds captured on EVP recordings can be attributed to natural phenomena such as wind, rustling leaves, or even the hum of electrical equipment. However, some EVP recordings contain sounds that defy easy explanation, suggesting the possibility of a voice or message from beyond the realm of the living. The authenticity of EVP recordings remains a subject of debate, with skeptics arguing that many alleged EVPs can be explained by psychological phenomena such as pareidolia, the tendency to perceive meaningful patterns in random stimuli. However, proponents of EVP recording maintain that certain recordings exhibit characteristics that cannot be easily dismissed, such as voices speaking in foreign languages, or providing specific information that could not have been known to the investigators. Section 8. Thermal Imaging Cameras – Detecting Cold Spots and Anomalies Thermal imaging cameras have emerged as a valuable tool in the paranormal investigator's arsenal, providing a visual representation of temperature variations that may be associated with unexplained phenomena. These cameras detect infrared radiation, which is emitted by all objects based on their temperature. The resulting images, displayed in a range of colors representing different temperature levels, can reveal thermal patterns and anomalies that may not be visible to the naked eye. In the context of paranormal investigation, thermal imaging cameras are often used to search for cold spots, areas where the temperature is significantly lower than the surrounding environment. The theory behind cold spots is that spirits or other paranormal entities may absorb heat energy from their surroundings, causing a noticeable drop in temperature. Paranormal investigators may interpret cold spots as signs of a ghostly presence or other paranormal activity. Thermal imaging cameras can also detect other thermal anomalies that may be of interest to paranormal investigators. For example, sudden fluctuations in temperature, unexplained hot spots, or thermal patterns that resemble human forms may be investigated as potential signs of paranormal activity. The ability to visualize temperature variations provides a unique perspective on the environment, revealing subtle changes that may not be perceptible through other means. However, it is important to note that thermal imaging cameras do not provide definitive proof of paranormal activity. Many factors can influence temperature variations, including drafts, insulation, and the presence of heat sources or cold objects. Paranormal investigators must carefully consider all potential explanations before attributing thermal anomalies to supernatural causes. Section 9. The Importance of Skepticism, Separating Fact from Fiction 
In the pursuit of the paranormal, skepticism serves as an indispensable tool, guiding investigators towards a more discerning and objective approach. While the allure of the unknown can be captivating, it is crucial to temper enthusiasm with a healthy dose of critical thinking. Skepticism in this context does not equate to disbelief, but rather a commitment to questioning assumptions, demanding evidence, and seeking rational explanations before resorting to supernatural conclusions. Paranormal investigation, by its very nature, delves into the realm of the unexplained, where evidence can be elusive and interpretations often subjective. Skepticism acts as a safeguard against confirmation bias, the tendency to favor information that confirms pre-existing beliefs while dismissing contradictory evidence. By embracing a skeptical mindset, investigators can mitigate the risk of misinterpreting data or jumping to conclusions based on incomplete or ambiguous information. Skepticism encourages a rigorous examination of evidence, demanding that claims of paranormal activity be supported by verifiable data and observations. It prompts investigators to consider alternative explanations, seeking natural or scientific explanations before attributing phenomena to supernatural causes. This process of critical evaluation helps to separate genuine anomalies from mundane occurrences, ensuring that conclusions are drawn from a foundation of sound reasoning and evidence. Skepticism, however, should not be mistaken for cynicism or closed-mindedness. While it encourages a cautious approach, it also allows for the possibility that our current understanding of the world may be incomplete. True skepticism involves a willingness to consider new ideas and explore unconventional theories, provided they are supported by credible evidence and subject to rigorous scrutiny. Section 10. Conclusion. The Ongoing Quest for Evidence. The quest for evidence of the paranormal continues to captivate and intrigue, drawing upon both ancient beliefs and modern technology in the pursuit of the unknown. EMF meters, EVP recorders, thermal imaging cameras, and a myriad of other gadgets have become indispensable tools for paranormal investigators, offering new avenues for exploring unexplained phenomena. These devices, while not definitive proof of the paranormal, provide tantalizing glimpses into a realm that lies beyond our current scientific understanding. However, the interpretation of data collected from these devices requires careful consideration and a healthy dose of skepticism. Electromagnetic fields, audio recordings, and temperature variations can be influenced by a multitude of factors, both natural and artificial. Attributing these phenomena solely to paranormal activity demands a thorough examination of all potential explanations, ensuring that conclusions are grounded in evidence and logic rather than speculation or wishful thinking. The pursuit of the paranormal is an ongoing journey, a quest for knowledge and understanding that may never reach a definitive conclusion. As technology continues to advance, new tools and techniques will undoubtedly emerge, offering fresh perspectives and expanding the possibilities for exploration. Yet, amidst the ever-evolving landscape of paranormal investigation, one principle remains paramount, the importance of skepticism, critical thinking, and a commitment to seeking truth through evidence-based inquiry.